from the corner of 20th and Blake Street. So look at Coors Field in Denver. Tonight we wrap up this. Corey Seager will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. Well, you know, he's been averaging at least an RBI per game over his last 10. So yesterday's performance. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. One left for L.A. It's the Dodgers nothing. Rockies coming up. Marcus Swenson will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. Well, this guy's hitting Marcus over 300 Swenson. on the year now, and he had a good performance yesterday as well. Hey! Circle change there, called strike one. Eric, you look at your former employers, the Dodgers, as they enter play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. And, and any time you can come into someone else's house and come out of it with a sweep, really lifts your whole ball club. That's what these guys are looking to do if they can take this yeah. third and final game here. Inside corner called to strike one and two. Oh, not fooled one bit by the changeup as he smokes this one to deep left field. That one will not be coming back a home run. And how about that? Marcus Swenson has got himself his first big league round tripper. We'll have to wait and see how many more of these he can mount in his career. But for now, I'm sure he's happy to say he's got his first. Well, I think that any kid who's ever dreamed about playing this game dreams exactly this. Watching the ball disappear over the fence, then circling the bases in a big league ballpark. I'm sure he was practically floating as he jogged the bases. He'll be replaying that at bat over and over. You know his phone's going to blow up. He's going to be calling his mom, his buddies. Everybody's going to be talking about this one. Stepping in, Chase Utley, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Sent on the ground out to second. There's one. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. Yeah, and right here, he knew that at second base, he was going to have to hurry this throw back to first if he had any chance to double him up. And you see his throw get away from him. But since there's no advancement, it's going to be a straight fielder's choice. No. Marcus Swenson strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Sinker runs outside to start the at-bat 1-0. You know, you start to worry that maybe this already has the makings of a short outing. And that's not what that man right there you know. wants to hear. He'd hate to have to make a change this early, but he might have to. I hey. think he would have liked the green light there. It's two and one. And after you move a guy off the plate and you know he's all worked up, that's a perfect time to drop a curveball or a changeup on him. Great pitch call right there. And a close Go. play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out, and the inning is over. So it's one run on one. A.J. Ellis will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Yeah, putting the ball in play. Sometimes that's half the battle. Slow roller back to the mound. One there. Yeah. On to first, He's the out. double play. First and second, nobody no, out. No. You think you're That's in a great right. position to do Shot some damage here in this three. inning. And then, uh-oh, the one thing that you could not have is the double play, and that's exactly what you get. Marcus Swenson will stand in now as we take you back now, to the very in. first inning as he got him going early. A Marcus grand slam Swenson. right out of the gates. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Oh, Nothing and one. Started to nope. go around there, but he holds up ball one. 
And you know, sometimes when you're thinking fastball, you try to get moving just a little bit early. And that's a good job of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing. Utley's up with it. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Up three down. Yasiel Puig steps in for a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Yeah, this is a huge moment in this ballgame, Matt. I mean, you might be looking at this at bat when it's all over as one of the turning points in this game. Throw on to Carter gets him to retire the side. Only one in the inning here for the guys in blue. Home half of the eighth. Marcus Swenson strides in to lead us off here in the bottom of the ninth the inning. Marcus Swenson. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. Off oh, the plate, one point. ball, one strike. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he's retired one away. The catcher, number four. Mm. And on a night when the temperature is in the 40s, this one's going to sting for a while. No doubt about that. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our Tops Player of the Game award? Yeah, he connected on a couple of long home runs. Really put his guys on his back and carried them to the victory. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The Dodgers win it 7-5. to five. Good night from Denver.